people tell me like, okay, Tmall is like Amazon. It's exact. No, no, it's not working like this at all. Hello, everybody. I'm going to speak about Tmall and how to sell your products on Tmall. Tmall, it's Alibaba Group. It's Tmall and basically Taobao. So it's like 50, 60% of the market share in e-commerce. So it means like half or more than half of all the products sold in China online are on Tmall. So it's a huge platform. It's a huge platform between Tmall and Taobao. So Tmall, it's Taobao Mall. You need to understand that Taobao Mall, it's for brands. It's like a shopping mall online. In the shopping mall in China, you have big brands, good quality product with nice store. And the other side, you have the Taobao. Taobao, it's like a local market. You can find cheaper product, more uh, deal, more cheap price. And Taobao, it's more done by wholesaler or small reseller or small shop, something like that. Okay, so if you are a big brand, you need to be on Tmall. And if you are a local brand or selling cheap stuff, it's better to be on Taobao. That's basically the theory. On Tmall, how brands are developing uh, their self on Tmall? It's a very good question. The first, you need to be accepted to Tmall because you think that all brands can go there and, and sell? No, no, it's not working like this, no. First, uh, Tmall has some requirements. They ask you to have a certain years of history. They ask you to be a real brand. They ask you to have like some certificate. They ask you to have a minimum also of branding, of awareness, of, of, of stuff to be accepted to Tmall. Tmall, it's like a shopping mall. They don't want to have all the brand there. They only want to have the good brand there. Okay, so if you are just mall, of, they, they, usually they don't want you. And you will tell me, Oliver, there is always a way. Yes, you have always a way to enter to Tmall. But if you are in this platform, it means you need to be good. You need to be to have a good brand. If not, basically you can enter. It's possible, but after one year, you don't make your figures, and Tmall will kick you out. And 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 and, and that's basically how it works. So it's you need to enter to Tmall to stay on Tmall to make sales and to develop yourself if if not it's complicated it's not like amazon no 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 people tell me like okay Tmall is like amazon it's exact no no it's not working like this at all amazon everybody can go there it's quite easy to operate the store are all the same no big design but Tmall it's different Tmall it's a big platform you need to have a very great great store a lot of good page uh, the traffic is more expensive. You need to be really active. You need to manage your store. You need to participate to events. You need to even invest in ads. You need to have a customer service also very efficient. So it's a lot of like structure costs that it make an operating on Tmall much more expensive than operating on Amazon. It's different. And um, you apply to Tmall and you need to open the store with page. Page need to be long, descriptive, with a lot of information, picture, very professional, and it need to be really attractive. And after you have this page, you have your store, you need to optimize the store for uh, the good category. You need to optimize the store for the search also as well. It's also important. Step number three, you need to attract traffic because on e-commerce, you need to get traffic on your store to be able to sell because a percentage of the traffic that coming to your store and your page will buy. So if you have every day 1,000 visitors and your conversion rate is five, you're making 50 sales per day. If you have 10,000, you're making 500. That's basically the rules of numbers. So how to get traffic on your Tmall store? Number one, with the search, you optimize your page. People, you are selling chocolate, for example, and you people search chocolate or imported chocolate or French chocolate. You appear there, they check on your page, they like it, they buy the search. You have the paid search. So when you don't have good ranking at the beginning, you have to pay and you, you are suggested at the, at the paid result on Tmall so people can search chocolate and they will find the natural result and the paid result. A little bit like the search engine. You have also the banners. 
the banners inside of the platform. So inside of the platform, you have some banners on the left, on the right, downstairs, when they will suggest to you based on your interest or based basically on your competitors. You have um, the banners who are also outside of Tmall, but controlled by the platform of Tmall, Alimama. So it can be the retargeting or the targeting, and you just create the banners. So you're something on one website, or Weibo, and basically a banners will pop up with the suggest product on Tmall that is based on your interest or on the page that you already see and you attract them back. And the last part, you have the KOL, the key opinion leaders. So the key opinion leaders who are posting, making a review of your product by video, picture, something like this, or the live streamer, okay? So the people who are speaking about you, the KOLs, they have different level, okay? You have the top star KOL, people with I don't know, millions of followers who are very popular and, and, and they are very expensive. And of course, you have your key opinion leaders, the influencers, they are quite popular. They will speak about your product. It can cost, I don't know, 1,000 euro to 10,000 euro, 20,000 euro for one post. And you can use them to promote your product and also to your store, that's possible. And after you have the, what we call the small influencers or the micro influencers. And these people, they are quite small. They don't cost much. Sometimes if your brand is quite popular, you can send them the product. They will speak about you and attract traffic to your store and to your page. I think I like this, uh, <laughs> this kind of like small and micro influencers because you can get more and you can get more small, small quality traffic to each of your page. And uh, the quantity sometimes make the make the quality. Um, and you have the live streamer. The live streamer can be inside of the platform, inside of the Tabao store, like talkers. There's kind of like people, they are live streamer in Tmall. So when people doing shopping on Tabao and Tmall, they would like to see this kind of like live streamer to introduce the product. And it can be outside of Tmall on doing on other platform. People can make live stream speak about your product and it's a kind of like TV show, okay? So it has been extremely popular uh, in 2020 last year, uh, the live streaming, the people who are selling this kind of like product online. Tmall, uh, also you need to have what we called the customer service. So customer service, it is some girls who are chatting and uh, Chinese consumer usually before they buy, they like to ask some questions and you need to have a good customer service to reply to these questions quite fast. And after it's also a good opportunity to ask the WeChat ID or ask more information about them to know more about your consumer. So it's good. And the last step after they buy and something, you have the logistic where you need to be able to send the product to the right people. But usually in China, the logistic is, it's not a big deal. It's, it's pretty good and quite quite cheap thank you for watching this video if you want to know more about Tmall if you want to apply to Tmall if you want to know more you can just ask us and we'll be very happy to help you we have also some information extra stuff about how much it costs what residue you can expect these kind of things on Tmall feel free to ask us and uh, our team will be very happy to guide you and to explain to you everything Thank you very much and give me a like if you like.